With all that's going on in the world today, it's easy to forget that there's an upcoming event that the Bible tells us about that I believe is right around the corner. I want to talk to you about it today in your morning cup of inspiration. You know, it's easy to just forget that Christ is returning. He said he's going to return. And when he does, first he's going to come for his church. It's called the rapture of the church. And that's when he comes back and the dead in Christ will rise. Well, you go, wow. What do you mean the dead in Christ? Well, people that have gone on before us that, see, not everybody is going to physically die, although everyone is appointed to die once. Not everybody is going to physically die. And over in 1 Corinthians 15, 52, it tells us, For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised, incorruptible, and we shall be changed. The dead are going to rise. A lot of people say, well, you know, I, I can't be cremated then because, uh, you know, that's going to be everywhere. How, how, am I, how am I supposed to rise? Are my bones supposed to rise? Well, I'm going to say to you is that, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were about to get burnt to a crisp. And if, they, if that would have happened, they, their ashes would have been everywhere too. I know my mother was cremated, and I asked her about that. I says, how can you do that? And she said, what do you mean? I said, well, how's God going to put you back together? And she big question. You think God's too small to put me back together? <laughs> and I thought, you know, that's a great answer. No, God is not too small. He could do anything. He could take ashes from anywhere, and he can make a human body back, uh, back again. But over in Romans 8, 11, it tells us, And if the Spirit of God, who raised up Jesus from the dead, lives in you, he will make your dying bodies live again after you die, by means of his Holy Spirit living within you. If we have the Holy Spirit living within us, and we pass from this earth, our bodies are coming back one more time, so that we can change into our glorified bodies. But we're going to meet Christ in the air. We're going to be, uh, meet him in the air and recognize people that we are meeting him, that we are with. 1 Corinthians 15, 54 says, Then when our dying bodies have been transformed into bodies that will never die, the scripture will be fulfilled. Death is swallowed up in victory. You know, what I love about that is that that's a fulfillment of prophecy when this happens. Because in Isaiah 28 or 25, 8, it talks about that too saying how, how death is going to be overcome and the victory is going to be had. And so this is just reiterating that so when it happens, you'll know people that are here that are left behind will know the same thing. That prophecy has been fulfilled. And over in 2 Corinthians 4.14, I want to read to you that He who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus and bring us with you into his presence. Isn't that wonderful? I think that is great. I hope that blesses everyone. Look forward to seeing you again for another morning cup of inspiration. Have a wonderful day.